The customer should never object to you. The customer should not object to you. You should initiate the objection. You should initiate the objection. If you're buying security for your company, okay, and the security is going to cost two or three hundred thousand dollars a year, you would say, "Sir, the security for your company, including manpower, the dogs, the cameras, the fencing, etc., is going to be two to three hundred thousand dollars a year." Okay, in your case, it'll be closer to two ninety-two, is what I have it zoned in on specifically. We could cut the two ninety-two back a little bit. Uh, there's only three reasons, probably two reasons, maybe only one reason you wouldn't do this. See what I'm doing? I'm going to initiate before he can say, oh my God, that's too much. Before they say it's too much, I need to tell them it's too much. Whatever those objections are, whatever the uh, recurring objections are that you have in your business, you aren't the decision maker, you can't afford it, you don't think it's going to work, they're not going to use it, come up with your list. It's a furniture. Okay, there's only a couple of reasons you won't buy this right now and make a decision to get the chase lounge, the lantern, the rug, my whole setup that I put there. The only a couple of reasons can I share them with you. One, you're not the decision maker. Number two, you can't afford it. Number three, maybe a third one, maybe a third one. You don't like what I picked out for you. Which one is it? I don't know. Get an answer to the question, okay? Make a note here. Get an answer to the question. Once you ask the question, Brian Tracy, Brian Tracy and Tom Hopkins, back in that day, those guys were saying, whoever asks the question controls the sale. It's not true. Whoever gets an answer to the question controls the sale.